Good morning, this is Kel Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you begin your day. Guests at the Gruff Restaurant and Bar in Brandon had an unusual dining experience Sunday when a pickup drove into the building. As you can see in this video we captured, a red pickup is almost completely inside the building. Officials tell us there were no injuries. Police and investigation is ongoing. A teenager has died in a weekend crash on Interstate 90 in Meade County in western South Dakota. The Highway Patrol says a semi merging into traffic near Somerset Saturday afternoon was struck by an SUV which became lodged under the rear of the semi's trailer. A 16-year-old boy driving the SUV died at the scene. His passenger, a 17-year-old girl, has life-threatening injuries. The driver of the semi was not hurt. A man has died in a farm implement accident in northeast South Dakota. The Highway Patrol says the boom of a field sprayer struck a park semi near Langford Friday afternoon, killing the 45-year-old man who was standing by the semi. The 21-year-old woman operating the field sprayer was not hurt. The cause is under investigation. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn starting the day and the week on a cooler note, Scott. Well, yeah, and we have temperatures this morning for some of us in the upper 40s to the lower 50s. And even in the afternoon hours, we'll still have temperatures remaining cool, below average, highs in the 70s across eastern South Dakota, lower 80s for central and western South Dakota with some evening chances for showers and thunderstorms in western Kettleland. And that will eventually move into central, south central South Dakota during the overnight. And potential is there to see periods of heavy rain. And it looks like we'll have dry skies after tomorrow. Tomorrow we have these scattered chances across eastern South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. More details on the Kettleland Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. The Southwest Area School District in Rapid City will be experiencing heavy road construction over the next two years. The project is aiming to provide safer and more efficient travel for those in the area as it can get quite congested. By increasing the safety in this roadway, uh, it'll allow people easier access to get to school and also to convey the traffic through the area safely uh, from one end to the other. The Sheridan Lake Road Project will begin construction in early fall. An estimated 500 bikers took part in the 15th annual Those Guys Abate Children's Home Society Poker Run on Sunday. Participants registered at Cheap Shot Sports Grill and all the proceeds were donated to the Children's Home Society. For those associated with those guys at bait, they're proud to be part of an organization that finds ways to give back to their community. For me, getting involved with this event is simply because it's with the Children's Home Society and it's really for kids who need the support. And I believe that uh, our organization through the years has raised almost $200,000 for Children's Home Society. And so that's what really makes me want to be involved with the Abate organization, just because of the charitable work that we do. After they visited the Children's Home Society, bikers visited five other locations. As the Powerball and Mega Millions jackpots reach rare heights, South Dakota's exclusive lottery game did have a jackpot winner. Officials say the winning Dakota Cash ticket was purchased at the Casey's General Store on West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. The winning numbers are 3, 9, 19, 31, and 32. The jackpot, nearly $154,000. If you're Saturday's winner, you're asked to sign the back of the ticket immediately and visit a South Dakota Lottery Validation Center to claim your prize. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. After a cool start to the day, we'll try to warm to the 70s and 80s. You will notice thicker humidity today with higher dew point temperatures across western South Dakota. And then as we hit the evening hours, showers and thunderstorms do show up. They will move to the east and to the southeast. We could see periods of heavy rain with these during the overnight hours. You know, I'm talking uh, rainfall amounts, one to two inches. Some spots maybe even a little more than that. 
And then for tomorrow, as we start to increase the moisture at higher dew point temperatures in eastern Kettle Land, we will bring in these scattered chances for showers and thunderstorms in the eastern South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. We have it in there at about 30 to 40 percent. Well, there's that chance for severe weather uh, late this evening and for the overnight wind and hail being the main threat, and that's trying to set up across western and south central South Dakota. And then depending on where these stronger storms do develop, we will see Heavy rainfall. I would not be surprised to see rainfall amounts of one to two inches, some spots more than that. So for today, we'll have a, a, a dry day. It's this late evening chance that we have for thunderstorms across western South Dakota. Rapid City's high at 84, 82 in Pier, 70s in eastern Kettle Land. Not as cool tonight. We'll watch the rain in central and south central South Dakota, 50s and 60s for lows. And then scattered showers and thunderstorms in our forecast for tomorrow, 30 to 40 percent. That covers eastern Kettle Land. And then after tomorrow, it's dry skies. Temperatures for the weekend will warm. Wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some of us return to the 90s by Sunday. And you can check the rest of the seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.